everybody is a hybrid user, full stop. Um, it depends on you know, what, what parts of the cloud we're talking about, but everybody uses the cloud, but uh, more and more people will use the cloud absolutely because it just makes sense for a lot of workflows and for a mm -hmm. lot of companies. So are people moving away from the cloud? Maybe when it comes to, maybe when it comes to archive, maybe when it comes to huge amounts of storage, because there is a cost to that. Seth mentioned, you know, if, you're, if you need to access something um, on a regular basis, then if you're using public cloud, then you're going to get hit hard. Um, and that, that's the knee jerk reaction that, um, that, that companies have had to, to migrate away. But reality is, as I mentioned, there's lots of other cloud platforms that don't uh, penalize you to access your data. Um, that have the ethos that it's your content, you should have unrivaled access at all times. Um, that, that's, that's our message, by the way. Um, and so, um, you know, with, with, with that scenario, why, why would people move away? But it still becomes a cost because as George mentioned, mentioned essentially you're paying someone to manage these things for you. And going back to the previous question where, um, you know, what, what factors are moving people to the cloud, um, resources is a big factor. Cost of facility, cost of running it, cost of resource, cost of experts to, to deal with platforms. That cost is gone when you pay someone else to manage it, i.e. a cloud platform, managed service.